Cooking with Jacob. Today, breakaway glass. Here are some things you'll need to get started. Three and a half cups of sugar, cookie sheet covering, a cup of white corn syrup, a cookie sheet, one fourth teaspoon of cream of tartar, nonstick spray, and a large pot. First, take your large pot and add in the three and a half cups of sugar. Then, take the two cups of water and add that in. Next, we'll add in the one cup of white corn syrup. Then, the one fourth teaspoon of cream of tartar. Next, we need to stir the ingredients together. After a while of stirring, you'll eventually get it to a nice milky texture like this. When you reach this spot, go ahead and set it aside so we can make the mold. Our mold will be a cookie sheet covered in either aluminum foil or parchment paper. Aluminum foil can wrinkle the glass, so I would recommend parchment paper. Next, set the stove on medium high and put the pot back down on the stove top. If you have a candy thermometer, now would be a good time to use it. While you're waiting for it to boil, go ahead and keep stirring it to keep the ingredients well mixed. Now after about 50 minutes of waiting and stirring, you'll notice that it's getting a lot thicker. At about this point, you might want to go ahead and turn off the stove and pour it out into your mold. Be careful though, this is very, very hot and you don't want to burn yourself. When it's all poured out, Go ahead and make sure it's pretty thin, or else this could hurt someone when you break it. But before you're finished, you'll need to let it cool off and harden. You can either let it sit out on your countertop, put it in the fridge, or even set it outside if it's in the middle of winter. I would recommend a very cold place as to make it more brittle so that it breaks easier.